everyone and welcome back to my channel if you are a new viewer then make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also to share and subscribe for more videos to come and also do not forget to check my channel and more videos on it if you are a regular visitor then welcome back to this vlog now what are we discussing in today's vlog um, it's about the cruise control now I know I've done a video before on cruise control but today's video is specifically dealing with the cruise control I mean I will be going into detail explaining you what is the cruise control and what are the different types of cruise control so now here is the basic structure of a cruise control on my on, on my right side I have the activation on and off so if I press it on it just shows that it's the, the cruise control system has been activated now when I'm going say at like now important thing is cruise control is always working above 40 so when you cross 40 kilometers an hour then only the cruise control can be activated so when I go above 40 kilometers I can press the set button like this and then it will just because it's not showing it shows a set out here as well so at that speed it will just lock the speed and then you'll be going at that constant speed during that time you can also cancel it by pressing the brakes or the accelerator so what will happen is it it can remember the last setting that you did so after that all you have to do is if you see the res that's the resume so you can press that button and the cruise control will pick up from where you left it the speed it will just start from there now the cruise control are of two types the basic cruise control which is your regular cruise control that i showed you in my car right now and there is another called as adaptive cruise control now the normal cruise control is basically you're just setting a speed and the car follows that basically but then you have to intervene if you have to slow down but what happens in the adaptive cruise control is the car basically controls the distance between the two cars so from your car say you set the speed of 80 kilometers and the car ahead is doing 80 kilometers but then say it slows down so now the car has got sensors the the distance sensors and the speed sensors so it basically regulates your distance and the speed so if you were to go say about again 80 kilometers and the car ahead of you also was going at 80 and it slowed down so the car will your car will also slow down to maintain that gap it maintains the distance between the two cars now this all happens because of the sensors obviously so what happens is fortunately if the car ahead of you suddenly decides to speed up then it, it, it won't be a case that your car will also start speeding up it will only speed up to the set speed that you have set the cruise control at it also depends on what uh, to what level of detail the adaptive cruise control is because in some cases you can also be uh, set a speed and the distance on the adaptive cruise control but then however the vehicles that are paired with the autonomous emergency braking system will automatically perform an emergency stop if the car ahead of you was to come to a halt suddenly previously adaptive cruise control was only available in the premium cars but then slowly it started now over the recent years it has started making into a lot of cars now the, the major manufacturers that give you adaptive cruise control are Mercedes they have a system called as the Distronic Plus uh, Porsche is also offering the adaptive cruise control called as Porsche Active Safe Volkswagen Passat now this is very interesting Volkswagen Passat has a traffic jam assist so what happens is say if you were if your car was going to slow down at a traffic junction or if you were just cruising at 10 to 20 kilometers 30 kilometers so what the car does is it will follow at that same speed ahead of the car and also if you were to come to a halt the car will also come to a halt and then again if you were to accelerate at the junction say the signal then again the car will do that for you now this really helps because what happens is this takes the load of driving 
from you but also if you were standing for a longer time at the junction because of the safety reasons the adaptive cruise control will just deactivate itself for a brief while but only if you press the accelerator again the system gets activated and then you are back to the adaptive cruise control so different manufacturers give you different level of adaptive cruise control some may offer you a lot more in detail but then some may not but then eventually the basic difference between the cruise control and the adaptive cruise control is this it lets you control the speed and the distance the adaptive cruise control lets you control the speed and the distance ahead of your car basically it's an even more safer system than the conventional cruise control i hope this informational video was useful enough for you guys to understand the basic difference between the cruise control and the adaptive cruise control this was just a brief explanation into why the how the two systems are different give it a thumbs up if you like this video and make sure to share and subscribe for more videos to come and also do not forget to check out my other videos on my channel on cruise control how to get out of the cruise control the tire maintenance and also the dashboard lights and some more supercar spotting videos if you want me to make an uh, an informational video on any topics that you have make sure to write it down in the comment section below and i'll make sure to make a video but until next time bye bye